Hey everyone, I'm Sean. We're going to take a look at how to set up the Trezor Keep Metal 20 work. A 20 word wallet backup or single share is a list of words that serves as a backup to your Trezor device. If for some reason you can't use your Trezor device, like if it gets lost, damaged or stolen, you can plug a brand new device into your computer and use the 20 word backup to regain access to your wallet. The 20 words in question are taken from a list of 1,024 words. And from that list, the first four letters of each word are unique. As an example, one of the 1,024 words is elevator. And it's the only word on the list that begins with the letters E-L-E-V. The same goes for romantic, which is the only word on the list beginning with R-O-M-A. If you know the first four letters of the word, you know which word it represents on the list. The way Trezor Keep Metal works is that it lets you punch the first four letters of each word into your wallet backup onto an alphabetical list printed on the surface of the device. Traditionally, your backup words are written down on a piece of paper and then kept secret to protect your holdings. The problem with storing information on paper, as you might have guessed, is that it can be damaged. A house fire, a flood, a kid that likes to tear things up, that's why we've created the Trezor Keep Metal, a fireproof, waterproof, impact resistant backup for your wallet. Let's go ahead and take a look at the materials inside. Just like our Trezor devices, the Trezor Keep Metal comes in a sealed box. Go ahead and remove the security seal to get started. You'll find three items as a part of your Keep Metal package. And the first thing you'll see after opening is the pre-marking pen, followed by a spring-loaded punching tool and the Keep Metal device itself. The pre-marking pen is there to prevent mistakes. Instead of jumping in and immediately punching holes into your device, we allow you to ensure that you've identified the correct rows and columns on the device before making any commitments. By the way, make sure you have your wallet backup on hand for this step for reference, and make sure that you're in a private environment as well, where your backup can't be seen or recorded in any way. We've designed the packaging so that the box holds the device chamber for added stability during the punching process. Like we mentioned before, the device itself shows the alphabet with a series of four rows each. So as an example, if the first word in my backup was island, I would use the pre-marking pin on the letters I, S, L, and A, one letter for each row. Then I would follow with the punching tool, permanently etching the letters into the device. The actual punching process is very straightforward. Hold the tip of the punching tool on the pre-marked letter and press down until you hear the click, which signifies that the surface has been pierced. Once you're done, check to make sure you've punched all the letters correctly. As an optional step, you can roll up your backup card and place it inside the chamber. This is a good time to mention the last items left in the box, which are the tamper evidence stickers. You can find the tamper evidence stickers at the end of the foldable instructions after the box is open, which goes over the same information we've covered in this video. The T-shaped stickers allow you to easily secure your backup for storage inside the keep metal chamber and the remaining stickers can be placed on the seal of the shell. These stickers are designed to show visual breakage if removed, and each has a unique identifier, so you know if it's been switched with another. Now, if you're choosing to do single share backup, this is the part where you store your keep metal away for safekeeping. But the 20 word keep metal also supports multi-share, which as the name implies, uses multiple devices. So let's cover that real quick. Keep in mind that this is an optional step, that does make your wallet more secure, but it isn't a requirement. The first thing to note is that a single share backup is extraordinarily secure from a mathematical standpoint. So much so that it's almost difficult to wrap your head around. A computer can literally make trillions of attempts per second to trying to crack it, and it will still be unsuccessful after doing so for several times the age of the universe. However, in real life, your single share backup also serves as a single point of failure. If you only have one backup and someone breaks into your house and steals it, they now have open access to all of your holdings. The same can be said for someone that loses their single share backup. Not only does that lock you out of your holdings, it could also potentially fall into the hands of someone else. And that's what multi-share is all about. Multi-share takes your single share backup and turns it into multiple. So instead of just having one set of 20 words tied to one wallet, you can have three sets of 20 words or five sets you can actually have as many as 16 sets of 20 word shares that are needed to unlock one Bitcoin wallet. But that's not all. After choosing how many 20 word shares you want, you can also choose how many of those shares are necessary to unlock the wallet. 
So as an example, let's say I chose to make five shares total. I might set the threshold to three so that I only need three out of five to unlock my Bitcoin wallet. Doesn't matter which three sets are used as long as the threshold is met. We've left space on the device for you to punch two additional holes denoting the number of shares you've created and what the threshold is for accessing the wallet. Lastly, like I said earlier in the video, don't forget that multiple Trezor key metals are necessary if you choose to go the multi-share route, unless you're okay with storing some of the shares on paper. Each 20 word share is unique and they must be backed up accordingly. At this point, whether you've chosen to do single share or multi-share, you've successfully set up your Trezor key metal. Now you can store your device or devices securely and separately where they won't be found or accessed by anyone else.